Hello, Internet. It's been a while. And uh, I was really hoping I was never going to have to make another one of these. For a long time there, I, I thought that was going to be the case. Uh, lots happened this year, huh? All right, I'm just going to I'm going to skip right to it. Um, my cancer came back. Uh, I found out after I started feeling uh, bloating in my belly that wouldn't go away. I went in for a CT scan that showed uh, new tumors in my liver that were quite sizable. Um, a mass next to my heart that they don't know what it is and uh, fluid build up in my abdomen. Um, I saw my oncologist who uh, went over the results and he said he needed a clearer picture so he uh, made an appointment for a PET scan. And I was told that PET scans are basically better at detecting cancer than regular CT scans. Uh, especially when it comes to something like the fluid. It showed the tumors are necrotic on the interior. Which is causing the exterior of the tumors to uh, act very aggressive. Uh, basically, this is a much more aggressive version of my cancer than it was before it's moving very rapidly and they don't know what that fluid is i have gone to see the liver doctor that did my radiation treatments and um and the, the microwave ablations I went to see him today. He scheduled me for a paracentesis, which if you recall from last year, it's what they did to remove fluid buildup around my lungs uh, when I was recovering from surgery. Uh, this will be to remove the fluid buildup uh, in my abdomen and to send away uh, samples to see if it is cancerous. Um, so that'll be Friday. I'll let you know how that goes. But here's the big thing. I put it to him. The question of how bad is this? And I said, on a scale of one to 10, how bad is this? And he said, it's bad. And I kind of had to push him a little bit. And he said he would put it at about seven or eight. Um, and I said, is this a get your affairs in order kind of situation? And he got real quiet and he said, I think that would be a good idea. So I've been dealing with that today. This is a lot worse than it was before. And everything that we did before, we did so much. Like three years of it, you know? Diagnosed in what? January of 2017. And six months of chemo, two rounds of radiation treatments, microwave ablation, surgery that resulted in three months of recovery due to septicemia. And finally, when it was all done and they said, Hey, guess what? You're good. And, um, I just sort of perhaps naively took it to mean that it was over and that I was going to be okay. And that it would just be a matter of, scan 
every once in a while. And um, make sure that it doesn't come back. And if it does, it would be at like stage zero and they would be able to just nip it in the bud right there and that would be the end of it. I had been scheduled to go in for a CT scan in March, but of course that's when the entire country went on quarantine for COVID. And I was terrified to even leave the house. Like I, I did, you know, to go to work cause I'm an essential worker and I had to, but aside from going to work and occasionally grocery shopping, I haven't gone anywhere else. And I was at the time we didn't know enough about it. So I was afraid to, so I didn't go. I, I just, like I was supposed to go for a CT scan. I was supposed to go for a follow-up with the oncologist. I didn't go to those. And I didn't go, not just because I was afraid of COVID, but also because I was under the impression that this would keep, I fooled myself into thinking it was okay to let this go. And it was not okay. And now it's back and it's back so hard and so strong. And people are telling me that I'm, I'm probably not going to make it. So. Obviously I'm going to continue with whatever treatment I can. Um, the oncologist suggested that I may not need to undergo more chemotherapy, which would be preferable because I'm sure you all remember what fresh hell that was. The oncologist actually said that even in the intervening three years since I was first diagnosed, there have been new treatments to come out and they are potentially uh, encouraging. That DNA test I mentioned a very long time ago, uh, that at the time was not covered by insurance and it was something like $6,000. It's covered by insurance now. So they sent away a sample of my blood to be tested for DNA to, to basically, to specifically find the genetic markers for my cancer. And hopefully from that, they will be able to uh, determine a, um, a medication that, uh, that would attack it on a, on a genetic level. So, like gene therapy, I guess. So we'll see how that goes. Like maybe, maybe this can be done with oral medication or, um, or something intravenous that isn't as uh, invasive and impactful as chemotherapy remains to be seen. But like I said, I'm, I'm going to continue with whatever treatment options are available. I'm not going to be complacent. I'm not going to pretend that everything's going to be fine. Uh, I am going to get my affairs in order. I'm going to do that in a number of ways, and I'll talk about that in, in later videos. But, um, but I'm not just going to roll over and die. It's not who I am. I don't feel particularly optimistic about this, but I've never been one to just quit. So I'm back. And we'll see what happens. I don't know what else to say, guys. I wish I could be as cheerful as I was in my last video to you. God, I wish that could have been how I ended it. It was such a ride off into the sunset moment, right? <laughs> like, wouldn't it be nice if that could have been how it ended? That I just moved on. Hope you like my hair. Um, 
Wish I'd taken a shower today because it's looking a little greasy, but you can see how it's like purple and red and orange, and it's like I wanted it to look like a sunrise. It'll look nicer in the next video, I promise. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I'll post a video after my appointment on Friday to let you know how that goes. Hopefully, with the removal of the fluid, uh, that bloating sensation will go away. It's been impacting my um, my appetite. Like it always feels like I have a, a full stomach, um, so I haven't been eating a lot. And so, uh, when that fluid's gone, um, you know, hopefully that means I will be able to eat more, which is going to be really important uh, in the coming weeks ahead. So. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, I'll see you next time. Take care.